Hey everybody, it's Robert from ANG Central Music, and today we're going to talk about how I tune my snare drum. Um, and I want to start right there by saying this is how I tune my snare drum. Okay? Um, I'm sure you can find a thousand other videos that purport to be the perfect way to tune a snare drum, and not all of us want our drums to sound the same, and I think that's actually a good thing, and there should be room in the drumming community for all of us to do what sounds good to us. Okay? So today, hopefully what you can take from today is maybe a, a few tips and some techniques or maybe just a place for you to start your sound and then kind of fiddle around um, and do what sounds good to you. Okay? So where I start, um, if I'm starting with a new head on the top of the drum, I just get it uh, on the drum finger tight, tighten the uh, tension rods into the lugs, just finger tight. And then what I like to do is lean on my drum a little bit and just kind of stretch the head. You know, the materials that uh, drum heads are made out of nowadays are pretty high tech, and it's not like it used to be when they were skin drums, but yet they still have some elasticity to them. Um, and so I just like to get a little of the stretch out of it so that when I tune it, it will stay in tune for me. Okay? Um, once I'm comfortable with that, I'll start tightening the lugs acrosswise. Okay? Now this is not a new head, um, and so I thought we would start by listening to where we're starting from today. Um, and then we can kind of look at where we end up. So, may sound good to you, but I think by any measure that's not a fantastic sounding snare drum, right? So, um, we're going to start today by getting the heads in tune, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, strainer mechanism and the throw-offs and try to dial that in as well. Okay? So, we're going to start by um, bringing the head just into a decent tension um, to get a pitch. Now, now snares are off while I'm doing this. Um, just to get a decent pitch to start from. Okay? So, snares off. I like my drum to maybe sound a little bit higher than that. So we're gonna get a little bit more. Okay, so that's about playing range uh, where I'd want to have my drum um, tuned. So now what I'm gonna do is go from lug to lug, just articulating one tap, and I'm listening to my drum. And my goal here is going to be um, to tune the drum head all the way around so that those pitches are very much the same. Now, there's tools on the marketplace that help you do this. Um, there's drum dials that can measure the tension of the head if you place them on the head. And there's special drum keys um, that work like a torque wrench that will tune all of the um, tension rods to the same tension. Um, all of those tools are good and if that's what you like to use then that's good. I'm an old guy so I like to do things the old-fashioned way so I just kind of do this um, by ear. And so what we're going to start with here is I'm going to start um, by dropping my drum key. To probably do eight or nine times. Um, kind of like the way that sounds. Now if I come across here you can hear how much lower that sound is, so we're going to just try to kind of bring it up to match the other one. And so what I would do is just kind of work my way around the drum. And just try to bring all of those pitches into line, okay? Okay. Now I feel like I have the batter head, the top head, kind of into tune the way I'd like. So I'm going to flip my drum over and we're going to do the snare side head or the resonant head. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to, uh, my snares are still off. I'm going to take my drumstick, set it underneath my snares there like that, and kind of uh, keeps your snares from rattling on your drum head and allows you to tune a little easier. A trick I picked up off the internet, I've been doing it the hard way for years. Um, so now what I'm going to do is uh, essentially the same process 
on the bottom head, bringing all of the edges as I tap around into about the same tune. Now, I do want to talk really quickly about the relationship between the batter head and the snare side head. Okay? I'm going to tell you that there is no right relationship between the pitches there. You will hear people refer to in tune and detuned snare drums oftentimes. When they say detuned, they don't necessarily mean bad sounding. What they're saying is, is that the bottom head and the top head, the batter head and the resonant or snare side head are not tuned to the same pitch. Okay? I personally prefer my snare side head to be tuned slightly higher on most snare drums and for my different snare drums I actually use different tunings um, but slightly higher pitched than my um, batter head. I think you should experiment maybe start with your drum heads tuned to the same pitch and then experiment and see what sound works best for you. So now really quickly here I'm just going to work my way around this bottom head and bring it into the tune that I like. I've gotten my snare side head tuned to where I like it, so I'm going to take my drum stick out here, I'm going to flip our drum back over, and now the drum should be in a pretty good, oh no, there we go, drum should be in a pretty good tune. Well. We've improved the sound somewhat, but that's still not a very good snare drum sound. So we have some more work to do, and the work that we have to do is going to be on properly tensioning the snares so that we get a nice raspy snare sound, okay? All drums, snares on the bottom and they attach on one side to the throw off, on the other side to the butt end. Usually. Well, I should say in, in virtually all cases, on the throw-off side, you'll have a knob that can fine tension the snares. On some snare drums, you'll have a fine tensioner on the um, butt side as well. Okay? But what I like to do is to start out, I'm going to make sure that the snares are secured onto the throw-off and the butt side um, appropriately and then dial in with my fine tuners. And what I like to do for that, my little trick there is, I take my fine tuners and turn them virtually all the way to their lowest position. Not all the way, but very nearly to their lowest position. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my snares on. So that would be the off position, that would be the on position. And I'm going to Make sure that when the snares are on, I'm getting a little bit of snare sound, but more importantly, when they're off, I'm getting no sound from the snares. Okay? So, once we have that adjustment made, then we can fine tune in our snare tension simply by adjusting. these dials and you'll see that we're starting to get some snare sound there right now we have a nice dry raspy snare sound that's a pretty low tuned snare I'm gonna really quickly do a higher tune and just let you hear it so this would be a good low tune. Snares are very raspy, pitch sounds good. I'm going to do a really quick high tune. I'm going to go into super fast motion mode and just let you take a listen. With the magic tuning done, got a really nice tight high snare drum sound. So. Hopefully you learned a little bit about tuning snare drums today and about adjusting your snare drum mechanism.